Hello and welcome to another episode of our Women in STEM series. My name is Kaylee Peel and I'm the Director of Development for the Linda Hall Library. And today our guest is Manisha Diaz from Eurofin Viracor Biopharma Services. Manisha, welcome and thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, I'd love to learn more about your career journey. Would you mind telling us a little bit about what got you interested in STEM, but more specifically the biopharma space, and how you got to Europe and Biocor? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I was born and raised in India. Uh, I actually got my undergraduate degree in micro from Bangalore, India. From there, I came to the U.S. Um, back in 2006 to get my master's in molecular cell bio. Um, and then I went on to get my PhD in microbiology, focusing on bacterial genetics. I would say growing up back in India, I didn't have a lot of prominent role models that I could identify with. I would say the biggest uh, kind of driver to get me into STEM was probably my mom. Mm -hmm. She has a degree in zoology, and I think quite early on she instilled a love for life sciences in me. And uh, from there, I kind of did a short postdoc, uh, kind of microbiology again uh, and then from there I kind of came to Viracor and since I've been at Viracor for about eight and a half years or so I work primarily in the biopharma space and I think what really intrigued me about the biopharma space is that um, I get to work on a variety of projects and clients uh, and support them in vaccine and development programs. So while Viracor specifically we don't manufacture drugs and vaccines but we do uh, support a lot, a lot of large vaccine and drug development programs. So I think that's pretty exciting to me. That's very exciting. Thank you for sharing that. So when it comes to your experience entering the biopharma kind of world, that industry, what has that been like when you moved to the United States, whenever you started working here with Eurofins Viracor as a woman, can you kind of describe that? What does that landscape look like? Yeah, so I feel like uh, I've been pretty blessed. Uh, personally, I've been always surrounded by strong women in my family. But when I came to the US uh, to get my master's, my master's advisor was actually a woman. And she was a brilliant scientist. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I feel like I got to learn a lot from her. Being at Viracor Biopharma specifically, I think what excites me and what I find the most inspirational is that a lot of our senior leaders are women leaders. And I think I find that important mm -hmm. to see. I think that matters. And I think that's kind of has always been a source of inspiration for me to stay in the STEM field. That, yeah, absolutely, that makes sense. So what do you think, how can we, you know, how can other industries and other organizations kind of adopt some of the practices that Viracor um, is doing? What would you like to see, both in the Kansas City community, but kind of just in the STEM community at large? Yeah, so I would say uh, for women specifically, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've been blessed that I'm constantly surrounded by men and women leaders who have always supported me. Um, I think overall, women tend to suffer from sort of an imposter syndrome. Yeah. And I think what I have personally experienced in Viracor that I feel has helped and I feel like it would help um, the society as well if men and women leaders at workplaces kind of intentionally worked towards amplifying voices of women. Um, I do feel like women tend to lack confidence sometimes in themselves. Um, and so I feel like intentional amplification of their voices would help build this confidence and break through that imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. So I think that is something that works really well at Viracore and that's definitely something that I would recommend that other workplaces make an effort to do. Absolutely. So when it comes to Viracor and kind of the community that you guys have established within your company, what are there some exciting things that you can share about the work that you guys are kind of leading up to in, the, in this year, in the coming years, the 2024? Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of what we work on is confidential. Sure. So <laughs> I cannot uh, specifically state recent examples, but this is knowledge that's available in the public domain. Uh, when the pandemic started, we actually supported the Moderna COVID-19 uh, vaccine trials. And so we did uh, all of their PCR and sequencing testing, uh, which actually went on to show the efficacy of their vaccine. So we are very proud of that accomplishment. And I think that is um, you know, something that's available so I can share. Uh, but uh, we have a large presence in the oncology space as well. So that's an example that of what we've done, but we are routinely supporting pretty important and large um, oncology trials. So I think that's something uh, we have been working on. 
Yeah, that was amazing. I didn't know that, so thank you for sharing that. When it comes to you know the kind of the future of um, women and people of color in the STEM biopharma space, what would you like to see in the next five, ten years here in Kansas City? What can we be doing better? Um, I would say, um, you know, again, I would like to kind of go back to that intentional amplification um, of voices. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Um, if you're in a meeting, just doing simple things. If you're in a meeting and if your woman coworker just had an idea that they spoke about, but you feel like that wasn't really heard, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of coming back and, you know, kind of just restating her idea and making sure that she was heard. I think it's only human uh, that the receiver of the information may kind of land up giving the person who clarified the message the credit, but just a simple thing as, you know, well, that was her idea and kind of restating that. I think simple things like that would definitely help. Mm -hmm. Allyship mm -hmm. is important, right? Yeah. Uh, across the board, yep. absolutely. Um, is there anything else that you would like to share about your career or about Europe and BioCore in general? Yeah, I mean, I think we have a pretty positive work culture. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we spoke about the STEM, I guess, locally, but uh, Eurofins, Viracor, we have a lot of initiatives that we uh, work on internally as well as within the community. Internally, we have a job shadowing program. Okay. Uh, we also uh, have an innovation committee that is geared towards bringing ASI ideas and process improvement initiatives to fruition. We also go out in the community. We have local connections with the universities wherein we bring students on site. We go uh, to the campuses to kind of talk about what a job in industry looks like. Uh, we also sponsor our BioCancer's Innovation mm -hmm. Festival yes, every year. So familiar. that's been really exciting for us. Um, and beyond that, a lot of our senior leaders um, at Eurofins Varakor are also board members of BioNexus KC. Yes, we're which a is an, of ours, yeah. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. which is an uh, organization kind of targeted to position Eastern Kansas and Western Missouri as a global leader in the life sciences and healthcare community. So uh, I feel pretty excited about, you know, what Eurofins Varakor contributes to the local uh, ecosystem at large. Yeah, I think the Linda Hall Library is definitely in the same space. So BioNexus KC, BioKansas, they're friends of ours. Um, we actually host the Science to Art exhibit that BioNexus does. We've done that for the oh, last two awesome. years. Yeah, we'll have to invite you next year. And we're also really focusing in 2024 on helping support kind of the initiatives that you kind of described within different companies who are our kind of you know, corporate or community partners. We'll be launching our Business Leadership Council, um, helping companies connect to students, getting that career exposure that you kind of talked about. How can we create more of those experiences for the student populations that we serve? And how can we make things more accessible when it comes to the next generation of workforce? That's so exciting, yeah. yeah, hopefully we can work together <laughs> in that space. Yes. And I appreciate your time, Venetia. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.